Kan shalom. All praises to Yahweh Bashim Yashai, Bashim Kakadash, the Ba'on and Study Apostles and Elders of Great Millstone, and salutations to the hopeful elect is pushing his truth in sincerity. Democrats vote to make bulletproof fast illegal. If you get shot, you die. So Israel is making the next move concerning uh, gun laws. And he's actually, uh, with this move, he's causing, he's going to cause a lot of people to die. You know, the Bible already speaks about those that live by the sword will die by the sword. But many people, Salah, many people actually, um, many people actually escape death by the way of, um, of, um, of a bulletproof vest, man. So it says New York Democrats passed a new package of anti-gun laws on Thursday, including banning the sale of body armor. Senate Bill S9407B will stop Americans from legally acquiring a body vest. Only certain professions such as law enforcement and military personnel will be exempt from the new law. It will always be a illegal way of receiving things. This is this, this is the same thing as drugs. So, in total, the Senate passed ten laws, ten laws pertaining to gun control, according to the website. And gun control is one of the things which ESA will push strongly because gun control is linked onto dismantling. Uh, the weaponry, the force that people can use against the tyranny of, of, of a government. So these things is what's going to be continually upon the people. You're going to have shootouts, you're going to have stage events, you're going to have agent provocateurs, you're going to have uh, police brutality, you're going to have uh, violence being incited by the government, chaos being created, and they're going to strict, they're going to come with strict the gun laws only to dismantle the guns from uh, the citizens. Other bills included measures that require a license to purchase a semi-auto uh, medic rifle that needs to be renewed every five years, as well as enhanced string, uh, string and record keeping and reporting to prevent gun and ammunition sales to individuals with criminal records. We cannot be satisfied by New York's already tough gun laws, Democrat New York, a governor Katie Hochul said in press release this comprehensive package will close loopholes give law enforcement the tools they need to prevent easy access to guns and stop the sale of dangerous weapons to 80 year olds so the Senate also passed a law protecting abortion and voting privileges state lawmaker passed Senate uh, bill s90798 which prohibits in state professional misconduct charges against medical practitioners who perform reproductive health services to someone who resides where such a practical uh, or such practices are illegal according to the bill. Uh, legislators also passed a bill supporting the Join R. Lewis Voting Rights Act to ensure that members of racial color and language minority groups Still have an equal opportunity to participate in the political processes of, of the state of New York and especially to exercise the effective franchise, the bill states. The bills have yet to be signed by governor. So you see the you see the moves that is actually being made where they where they pushing the people towards man. And as I already said. If your trust is on the carnal things, the weaponry, you know, the, the trusting in, in the carnal chariots, in the bulletproof vest, your trust is in uh, the sword, you will lose the battle because Esau is blessed by the sword. This, this is the empire where Esau is ruling. So you putting your trust in the blessing of the enemy is not going to lead to the, to the conquering of the enemy. You see? Our people need to our people need to return back in the understanding of who we are and what we need to do. You know, and in patience possess your souls because 
The devil, the devil is squeezing from above and squeezing from below. Everything is only going to increase. The minds of many people is drifting away. But your mind needs to be focused on what type of steps have been taken and how the devil is actually making moves in order to take you down. The book of Psalms chapter 94 verse 20 Shall the throne of iniquity have fellowship with thee, which frameth mischief by a law. So this empire is not going to fuse with the kingdom to come that is going to be established upon this earth. The things that they do is they frame mischief by a law. By law, now they want to dismantle people from having a, a bullet professed. Stricter control con concerning the selling of guns. Which means the citizens will have a less uh, uh, possibilities in, in order to defend themselves. And I'm speaking about the citizens that only can trust in weaponry to defend themselves against a tyrannical uh, government. See? It says they gather themselves together against the souls of the righteous and condemn the innocent blood. And that's what it is. It is a war against the poor and needy. It is war against them that are living in the system. And they're setting the people up against each other. They're fighting them. They're drifting. They, they, they're distracting the mind from what truly needs to be done and what truly needs to be understand. understood. So people are focusing upon the, the most foolish things in this present time and we as the prophets cannot be distracted you you cannot be enticed into the same mindset as these as these blind uh, 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 sheeple these days have you know the book of Ephesians chapter 5 verse 15 see then that you walk circumspectly not as fools but as wise redeeming the times because the days are evil we have to be focused on how the elites are gonna make moves as well as in the system because our battle our battle is so is so it's so fast and broad battle that we're waging we're waging battle against spiritual wickedness in high places then you have demons that jump on people in the system that are trying to stumble and cause you to fail so the battle the battle is so humongous we're warring against so much enemies so much entity so much demons demons on people you know but as long as you abide in doing what you have to do for the most high you're going to witness the judgment on all the enemies of the most high that's why the scripture says in patience possess your soul don't get moved by the riotous mind that is being pushed by the system you know when you look when you look at when you look at Chirac, when you look at uh, 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 you know all those places where you see the violence increasing people trusting in the sword People justify it in their mind to do the most, the most uh, 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 wildest and, and just sick and twisted, crazy things on this globe. While the Most High is instructing us to remain in a spiritual mindset, in, in a spirit of self-control and understanding what has taken place. The book of Psalms chapter 20 verse 7. Some trust in chariots and some in horses. Yeah, you got a lot, you got a lot of people up on this globe that trust in tanks, fighter jets. They got guns, they got they got knives, they got swords, they got uh, 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 what type of weapons they have. And also, many people trust in things that protect them. You know, a bulletproof vest. Or others think like, yeah, they have money so that they can run and hide. But there's no running and hiding place from the judgment of the Most High. So, the thing that you see upon the globe is that Many people, many people fool themselves by thinking that they're safe. You're not safe, you know. There's no, there's no peace unto the wicked. You, you might, you might keep yourself in a delusional state of thinking that you're in a good case. But when the Lord is going to open fire, all of them that are doing wickedness have been doing wickedness, all going to be going to be burned, you know. But we will remember the name of the Lord our power. We remember Yahweh Bashim Yashai. We are not going to be moved into the spirit of uh, 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 walking in the same spirit of those that are walking in disobedience man the righteous children man the children of the night let's get that man the book of romans chapter 13 you see it's key it's key for our people to wake the hell up man wake the hell up the book of romans chapter 13 verse 11 and that knowing the time that it's now high time to wake out of sleep 
For now it's our salvation nearer than when we believe. It's high time for our people, you Negroes, Latinos and Native Indians and you Israelite foreigners who are scattered all over the globe from who your bloodline goes back from being a descendant of Jacob. It's time to wake up and to understand that you are the child of Israel. You are a Hebrew Israelite and you got to walk in the ways of the Most High because judgment is at hand. The punishment for all the evil that they have done unto the chosen people of the Most High is at hand. The downfall of this wicked empire is at hand. The night is far spent, the day is at hand. Let us therefore cast off the works of darkness and let us put on the armor of light. So you gotta you gotta reform your mind, put put away all the evil that was done upon this earth according to the will of the earth. Put away all the people that have been pull, pulling you and enticing you in, in foolish and self-destructive behavior because the Lord is about to cleanse all the evil and all the wicked from this earth. Put on the armor of light, which is the wisdom, knowledge and understanding. This is what needs to be put on, the preparation for, for the wedding. It says, let us walk honestly as the day you got to walk in a sincere spirit upon this earth. You speak in a sincere way and your, your actions portray sincerity. That is what the Lord wants to see. Not in rioting and in drunkenness, not in chambering and wantonness, not in strife and in envy, which you see upon the earth. Narcissistic vibration, disorderly feministic vibrations, simping vibrations, all type of, all type of uh, 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 um, vibrations that is actually a satanic goes against the will of the Most High. People are drunkards, people are have people having no self-control, no moral understanding, no ethical understanding. Females have no virtuous a uh, 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 a virtuous mind. So the Lord, the Lord lets us know, like understand what is going to happen. I'm about to bring all type of chaos, turmoil upon this earth. And this turmoil, all this chaos, it is there to, to completely eradicate these creatures from the earth. And only those that are walking in my way, those, those will be protected, man. It says, But put ye on the Lord Jehovah Shai and make not provision for the flesh to fulfill the lust thereof. Yeah, because if you walk in the same spirit and in the mindset of Jehovah Shai, you, you're walking in the Holy Spirit. And if you're walking in the Holy Spirit, you are performing the keeping of the commandments. And that's what the Lord wants. He wants you to walk in the spirit and not in the flesh because <clears throat> the flesh is actually warring against the spirit. The book of Psalms, chapter 44, verse 6, For I will not trust in my bow, neither shall my sword save me. You know, we, we are not in the spirit of Esau Edom. Esau Edom is in a mindset of thinking that his sword is going to save him, is going to protect him from, from the war that is going to be waged upon this earth. So this devil is so proud, thinks that by his weaponry, by the amount of technology, you know, by, by the amount of money that they have, they think they got a chance to fight against the Most High's beloved son. So they're going to lose miserably, man. It says it here. The book of Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 5, starting at verse 7. We wearied ourselves in the way of wickedness and destruction. Yea, we have gone through deserts where there lay no way. But as for the way of the Lord, we have not known it. You see, so... Their whole life was all about wickedness and destruction, walking in pride, being convinced that they would escape the punishment for all the atrocities. But at the end, they're going to find out, they're all going to understand that the road that they were walking on was not the right path to walk on. They're all, they're all going to be confounded. Everybody will be confronted with the reality in those days, man. It said, what had pride profited us? Or what had good riches with our founding brothers, they're going to understand what they what what did their arrogancy, you know, the arrogant mind brought them. What good had they with their riches and their boasting? All those things are passed away like a shadow, and as a post that hasted away, and as a ship that passed over the waves of the water, which when it is gone, by the traces thereof cannot be found, neither the path of the keel in the way. So there's, there's um, a similitude, is how we call this. A similitude being made about how the evil, arrogant, proud, uh, wealthy, boasting devil, you know, the, the demonic creatures upon this earth, the evil doers upon this earth, are working evil. And, and they, they, they may gain in riches, they may prosper, 
but their remembrance is going to be like as a forgotten dream you know as as a ship that is moving through the water and you see the trace of 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 where the ship passed by but within a time span you can no longer see that the ship just passed that is how that is how their remembrance is going to be it's just a temporal time upon this earth where they can do what they do but then they will be forgotten that's why the scripture says the joy of the hypocrite is but for a short time so let's go on for i will not trust in my bow neither shall my sword save me we will understand that Esau is blessed with the sword so we will not put our trust in the bow you will not put your trust in the blessing of the enemy your trust is in yahweh our lord will fight for us he will protect he gives us the instructions how and when action will be taken against the wicked so we just go according to the program Others may look, others may not understand why we walk how we walk, why we maintain how we maintain, why we stay focused on how, where we focused upon. Because their mind is carnal. They, they will deal with situations carnally. The book of Matthew chapter 26 verse 52. Then said Yahweh Shai unto him, you see, and that's why it is key not to walk according to the ways of the world leave babylon you know the scripture says leave leave babylon which means redeem yourself from the ways of this wicked world man then said jehovah unto him put up again thy sword into his place because this was peter let's get a little bit up to show you what actually took place it says here in verse 50 and yahweh said unto him friend wherefore art thou come then came they and laid hands on yahweh and took him so yahweh was betrayed and delivered into the hands of, of the Romans. And behold, one of them, which were with Yahweh Shai, stretched out his hand and drew his sword and struck a servant of the high priest and smote off his ear. Then said Yahweh Shai unto him, Put again thy sword into thy place, for all they that take the sword shall perish with the sword. You see? Yahweh Shai also made a mention, I believe it is in the book of uh, John. He said, If this if this was my empire, my servants would fight. So we are not in a time where we're going to take action against people in the way how you, your flesh might even pull you and tell you like, yo, hey. Because this thing is not about our will. It's about the will of the Most High. So we, we, we patiently wait on the time when the Lord is going to give us green light. And when it's green light, all the anger, all the fury, all that was built up for such a long time is going to be unleashed, man. And there will be no mercy upon those that might be begging and, and screaming and crying for mercy in those days, man. It's going to be, it's going to be a gruesome bloodbath, man. So it says, uh, here, 24 and 45 in the book of Matthew. Who then is a faithful and wise servant whom this Lord had made ruler of his household to give them meat in, see, in due season? You see? Because this thing, this thing is about you gotta, you gotta be, you gotta be in the right mind of the heavenly Father, being watchful, understanding what is taking place on the globe, being, being capable through the Holy Spirit to filter situations that is taking place, and to report onto our brothers and sisters and to prophesy against these wicked, evil empires, against the Edomites, against all these heathens, what the Lord is going to do with them, man. Blessed is the servant whom his Lord, when he cometh, shall find so doing. So blessed are you if you're doing what the Most High commanded you to do when he comes back. All those that are not doing what the Most High commanded us to do when the Lord is coming back, you all, you all going, man, eh, they all, they all going to find out what what it means to disobey the the, the King of the Universe, man. It says, fairly I say unto you that he shall make him ruler over all his goods if you obey." You see, there's, there's a beautiful reward for what we do on this globe right now, man. And many people may not understand. Many people might think like, man, what does it profit to be, for them to prophesy? It's just foolishness. They're continually in the Bible. Their whole life evolves around the Bible. Many people don't understand what we do, man. They don't understand what it means to serve Yahweh Bar Shemir Shai. Because the only thing that they can serve is their own belly. They think life is all about them. It says it here in the book of 1 Corinthians 1 and 21. For after that, 
in the wisdom of the Most High. The world by wisdom knew not the Most High. It pleased the Heavenly Father by the foolishness of preaching to save them that believe. So we preach and the world may, the world may perceive what we do as foolish. But we please the Heavenly Father by preaching and teaching the word of the Heavenly Father, man. And that's where it's about. We do this for the elect, only for a small remnant. We don't care about the great multitude that is warring against this truth, that is not believing this truth, that is mocking and scorning and walking in the perverse, uh, 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 degenerate en uh, energy upon this earth. We, we don't care about them, man. The Lord doesn't care about them. So why the hell would we care about those creatures, man? It says in the book of Matthew, chapter 24, it says in verse, uh, verse 48, But then, if that evil servant shall say in his heart, My Lord, delay this coming, for the ones who lose patience, man, pray for patience, pray for, for faith, pray for strength, pray for the protection, pray that the Heavenly Father guide you in the Holy Spirit, pray, pray for the discerning how the Holy Spirit is communicating with you. These prayers you got to have in these days and go into fasting, man. You know, and I say these things towards before first to myself before I tell it and, and tell it to others, man. Because it's a war. You continually occupy it in boring, 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 boring. Entities trying to block you. Entities are trying to convince you. Okay, do it later. You know, go go later into the prayer, or go the next day into the fasting. It's continually a war against the evil. You know. It says, the Lord and shall begin to smite his fellow servants and to eat and drink with the drunken, going along with the spirit of the riotous man, which the Most High said, leave off from this world. Let's get that man in the book of uh, 2 Corinthians. What is it, 2 Corinthians 4? Or is it, uh, it's 2 Corinthians 6. Second Corinthians 6 verse 17 Wherefore come out from, from among them and be ye separate, say the Lord, and touch not the unclean thing, and I will receive you, and will be a father unto you, and ye shall be my sons and daughters, say the Lord Almighty. So we gotta separate, separate yourself from the ways of this world, man. Separate yourself from people, man. The hell with these creatures, man. They all they all they all set up for death man you know they all set up for death man the scripture the, the 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 mind state is like hey always understand man the birds of the same feather flock together man if people don't want to get right if people don't respect the program cut them loose cut them off because they're going to die in the most gruesome ways man and of course when you deal with brothers and sisters in this truth you know, we, we deal with patience, we're trying to motivate, steer and make brothers and sisters to see the importance of what needs to be done. But if you keep pulling and pushing and motivating and, 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 and guiding over and over continually like as if and people don't put no any any effort in doing what they're supposed to do, A, eh? then choose the right path in maintaining yourself and, and those that truly want to do this, man, you know, because this truth is, is a dead serious thing, man. This truth should not be taken lightly to think like we're going to do this partly, you know. You want to decide when you want to do it. No, man. The Lord says you got to be fiery hot for your Hawabah Shemir Shai. So you got to be in fear. You got to have a fearful mind towards the Most High. When you, when, you, when you serve Him, man, understanding that the Heavenly Father said that He is about to bring Jacob's trouble upon this earth, man. Jacob's trouble is coming up on the earth. When you understand what it means when, when it speaks about Jacob's trouble, man, Jeremiah 37, what it means when we speak about Jacob's trouble, how, how many of our nation are going to die, man. And the Lord, the Lord will show people that even if you are of his chosen nation, even if you're an Israelite, if your mind is not right, if you're not doing what you're supposed to do, if you're not repentant, if you're not seeking the Heavenly Father's mercy, if you're not if you're not walking in faith towards the Most High, man, the Heavenly Father is going to give you over onto the same punishment which is set for these heathens, man. And the main, the main, the main judgment, the main, the, the most heaviest judgment is going to fall upon these Edomites, man. The book of Jeremiah, chapter 30, verse 4. And these are the words of the Lord spake concerning Israel and concerning Judah. 
For thus said the Lord, we have heard a voice of trembling and of fear and not of peace. Ask ye now, and see whether a man doth fulfill with child. Wherefore do I see every man with his hands on his loins, as a woman in travail, and all faces are turned into paleness. People are going to be so scared. People are going to die of fear, man, in those days. You just look around, you see the movement, you see the steps that is being taken. The preparation for the IRS to go and to infiltrate, to go into houses, and even if there's need to use deadly force. Steps where they're pushing bills, where they where they wanna where they, where they wanna strip the people from having a, a body armor, you know, or bulletproof vest, stripping you from having guns. And this this is the only defense that a carnal mind has. So these people don't even understand what type of steps are being taken against them, as they occupy it on partying, most of the time focused upon each other doing all type of mischief onto each other and thinking man this this whole low this whole low frequency of being of creatures in the system man you separate yourself from these creatures from these roaches man because they don't understand as as they target each other as they as they look to cause you to stumble from the thing that you need to do for the most time they they don't even understand how the government is going to slay all of them the whole the whole family is going to get butchered man and it's the most high setting this thing up in this way blinding the people steering them to do the most foolish things so that the lord is justified to completely obliterate people man it says alas for that day is great so that there's none like it it is even a time of jacob's tro trouble but he talking about the remnant shall be saved out of it the elect only a small remnant is going to be saved the rest of the people man they ain't gonna make it man they ain't gonna make it the book of matthew chapter 24 verse uh 49 it says and shall begin to smite his fellow servants and to eat and drink with the drunken because financially things are going to be so extreme inflation people are going to be in a situation where they have no food nothing to drink no clean water to clean themselves females that are right now heavy into having makeup and looking all all dandy and, and trying to look sexy and smell good or whatever whatever they think it's going to be so extreme for them you know you go you're going to see them in a state where they're going to get humbled man many of them are very proud very arrogant but they're going to be humbled in the most horrific ways by the heavenly father man the Heavenly Father will sustain His servants, but all of them that have been warring against the Most High, against the Redeemer, against His servants, they all are going to howl for vexation. They're going to howl and cry for need of food, for need of drink. This is the torment that the Lord is going to bring upon them, man. And we're we going to see all of this, man. And don't think that we're going to be going to be in a spirit like, man, we're going to cry for people, man. We're not going to cry for people, man. The Lord of that servant shall come in a day when he looketh not for him and in an hour that he is not aware of and shall cut him asunder for anyone that is actually in this ministry, anyone that is claiming to, to serve Yahweh Bashim inside the Most High, saying they initialize, they understand what they're supposed to do, but they lose patience, they lose the faith and they go along with those that are walking according to the darkness. Anybody that conforms himself unto the darkness will be appointed and cut to sunder. You know, with the hypocrites, there shall be weeping and gnashing of teeth. This is what's coming for a lot of people on this globe, man. And as we move, we understand that this is coming and we, we don't want to fall into that path which is set for these creatures, man. As they laugh, many men... You know, I sit, I just walk, I sit, and I, I, I meditate. Many times I sit and I meditate, man. Today as well, I was just sitting, meditating, thinking about scenarios, how things can work. Thinking about how, how the mind of these creatures is. When you just look, you just, you just look and you just observe how people think, how people speak, how people behave. People are not aware of the judgment that is about to come, man. People are not aware of the judgment that the Most High is going to bring, man. It's all it's all fun and games now. It's all it's all fun and games. Let's get the book of Luke, man. The book of Luke. It's all fun and games.
It says it here, the book of Luke chapter 6 verse 24. Let's start at verse uh, 22. Blessed are ye when men shall hate you, and when they shall separate you from their company, and shall reproach you and cast your name out as evil for the Son of Man's sake. And you're going to experience these things on this globe, man. People are going to create things, people are going to say things, people are going to do things. You know, but, but it is all because of the spirit that is truly inside of you. That is what is taking place. The war is against the spirit that is inside of you and what you do for the most time. Rejoice in the day and leap for joy, for behold, your reward is great in heaven. For in the like manner did the fathers unto the prophets. The same thing is what they did unto the prophets before. It is a repeat. You, you come back in your own lot doing the will of the most high. But all the enemies of the most high back in the days, they come back again and they fulfill the same thing. Warring against the Heavenly Father, warring against the Redeemer, warring against the Prophets. And they're all going to receive the same punishment. The same blind, the same pride that blinded them. The same wicked mind which gives them the thought to think that they're not going to be judged. They will, they will, they will, be, they will escape the punishment for their crimes. It's, it's, it's the same thing that took place in the past. Woe unto you that are rich, for ye have received your constellation. Many people are rich, they got, they got tons of money, some of them got millions, and they boast. They boast in their riches and they think they're in a good case. <laughs> but riches profit not in a time of judgment, you know. Money, money is not an answer for the punishment, the judgment of the highest, man. It says, Woe unto you that are full, for ye, are, for ye shall be hungry. Woe unto you that laugh now, for ye shall mourn and weep. The Lord, the Lord looks at all the things that is taking place on the globe, man. As we are sowing in tears, we maintain ourselves, we keep ourselves content with a little bit that we have and walking in righteousness. You know, we remain patient, we bear our cross. The Heavenly Father gives us instructions and we follow the instructions of the Most High. As the dark side, the opposite of the Most High, is walking in lawlessness. Nobody can tell them anything. They steal, they lie, they cheat, they deceive. And they boast. They boast in, in that conduct. Having everything, being full. The Heavenly Father says they will be in a predicament of starving. You know? As they laugh now, the, in the time of judgment, these people are going to mourn and cry their eyes out. Woe unto you when all, all men shall, will, shall speak well of you. For so did their fathers to the false prophets. So many people who might think like if they truly serve God, why are they not speaking all good about them? People in this world will speak evil about the true workers of the Most High. A true worker of the Heavenly Father will be hated in this wicked empire because the wicked is ruling. So the book of Proverbs chapter 1. But the, the true worker will be, will be beloved by those that truly understand what that worker is doing. You know, and understand, I'm not in this ministry to search love and to, 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 to receive a confirmation of people, man. The only thing that I'm doing is I'm serving the Most High. I'm giving myself over to Yahweh Bashim Shai. And when the time is there, everybody and anybody that will understand who was doing what upon this globe, man. It says in the book of uh, Proverbs, chapter 1, verse 24, it says, I have called and ye have refused, the, the Most High called to his prophets but they refused to listen i have stretched out my hand and none man regarded they didn't listen they didn't take heed unto the words of yahweh bashim Yashai. but ye have said not at my counsel and with none of my reproof you know that's that's the mind of people they mock they scorn when you occupy it in the bible when you're truly dedicated you live this 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 is not this is not just talking about the bible this is not just being a hypocrite we live this we are fighting against entities we are battling to walk in the spirit this is a path of continually fighting against forces man continually being on the attack by high forces man it says i also will laugh at your calamity i will mock when your fear cometh, when your fear cometh as a desolation and your destruction cometh as a whirlwind when distress and anguish cometh upon you when the lord is going to torment these creatures man you know and understand, you, we, we upon this earth, with your, with your mind, you might think about gruesome punishment on, on enemies that are warring against you, right? 
to do things you might think like man i'm going i'm gonna do i would do this i would do that you know but understand the heavenly father says vengeance belongeth unto me it is not up to you to take vengeance onto all those enemies onto all the evil doers that are rising up against you when i'm sending you to do my will you know and understand the lord knows the biggest fears of these creatures the heavenly father knows what is the most important and the most precious thing from any individual upon this earth the lord knows exactly where to hit people and to smite and to hit them where it hurts man so when you might think like ah man when i'm, I'm gonna do this i'm gonna do that i'm man your your wildest your wildest dreams about vengeance on somebody cannot even compete onto the judgment that the lord is going to bring upon all our enemies man that's why we got to be a hey, just patience man continually stay stay focused on what you got to do for the heavenly father man the book of romans chapter 12 verse 19 daily beloved avenge not yourselves but rather give place unto wrath we build we building with anger you know the fury is growing inside of us and the lord is also going to use the fishes the, the serpents as weapons of war he's going to change us into the weapons which the heavenly father will use to slay a lot of wicked people on this globe man it says for it is written vengeance is mine i will repay say the lord the lord is going to repay the lord will execute judgment on young old male female boy girl the lord doesn't care the book of mark chapter 3 verse 27 no man can enter into a strong man's house and spoil his goods except he will first bind the strong man and then he will spoil his house you see so this thing is about abiding in the in the way of the most high because if you don't abide in the way of the heavenly father's house and in, in the heavenly father's way your house will be spoiled and that's what's going to happen with masses of these people right now they may they may have a house they may have stuff in the house they may have they may even have weapons they may have a uh, 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 um money they may have they may have things where they think they're in a good case but if it's not built on the right foundation if it is not built on yahweh shai that house is going to be spoiled you see the book of exodus chapter 15 verse 3 the lord yahweh is a man of war the lord is his name many people don't understand that the most high is a man of war when the lord is coming back the Lord, the Lord laid down his life as the innocent lamb. The Lord is known as the lamb as the, and as the lion. The first time when he was here, he laid down his life as a lamb. That's kind of the same spirit we're in. You know, the scripture speaks about it in, uh, what is it in? Uh, you know, the scripture also speaks about be innocent as, as harmless as doves and, and wise as serpents and harmless as doves. But also in the book of Romans chapter 8 verse... Um, uh, verse 36 as it is written for thy sake are we killed all the day long we are accounted as sheep for the slaughter so we we are actually as as the sheep the lost sheep we were lost but we found we found our true inheritance back you know and, and the lord is our chief shepherd we follow our chief shepherd man you know but in this system you're continually being persecuted you're being crucified you're being you're being hated you're being you you, you go to all hell because you're walking on the same path of the redeemer the redeemer went to hell but he finished his course so if you walk upon this path that you abide in doing what you have to do you're also going to receive the reward from the redeemer it says nay in all things uh, we are more than conquerors through him that loved us for i am persuaded that neither death nor life nor angels nor principalities nor powers nor things present nor things to come nor height nor depth nor any creature shall be able to separate us from the love of the most high which is in mashiach Yahushai, our lord so none of these things is going to separate us from the most high and the wicked will try you know that's their that's their purpose man to try to be demonic you know but in the end they all will be judged according to their actions man the book of exodus chapter 14 and 14 and the lord is going to do it man the lord shall fight for you and ye shall hold your peace man you call upon the lord you read about all the things that took place in the past man you read about all those beautiful moments when the lord did things fighting against against goliath king david you know the lord was on the side of king david the mighty man of king david 
You read, you read all those situations about Joshua, you know? You read about Samson. You read about Daniel that, that was protected from the lion when he was thrown in the lion's den. All these things are written a four time for our learning, man. You know? It says in the book of Joshua, chapter 23, verse 2, And Joshua called for all Israel and for the elders, and uh, for the heads and all the judges, and for the officers, and said unto them, I am old and stricken in age, and ye have seen all that the Lord your power had done unto all these nations because of you. For the Lord your power, it is he that had, had fought for you. We always have to remember what the Lord did for us, for his chosen nation, against all these heathens, man. Even though we went off, even though the Heavenly Father gave us into the hands of the enemies, even though you're, you're catching hell right now, you know, Romans 15 and 4, even though you, we're catching hell, we go to things and these, 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 these Gentiles, these, these, these foul dogs, they really magnify themselves and they think they're above us. But the Lord is going to come back and he's going to redeem us out of the hand of all these creatures, man. The book of Romans, chapter 15, verse 4, For whatsoever things were written aforetime, were written for our learning, that we through patience and comfort of the scriptures might have hope. You see, this is what gives us hope, man. This is what truly keeps us going as we are in this, in this, present, uh, in this present empire dealing with all these nations, man. In the book of Baruch. Let's get that, man. So don't get moved in carnality, man. Don't get moved in thinking like you got to fight yourself out of it. Don't get moved by the demons on people that are enticing you to take down people because that's how the devil works, man. The devil, the devil, the devil tries to entice you in making a mistake. The most powerful thing that you can have in this truth is a mind, a calm mind with self-control. Knowing how the enemy is moving, knowing how the enemy is trying to tempt you and waiting for that right time when the Heavenly Father gives us green light. Then we go down. Then it, then it all goes down, man. You know? The book of Baruch, chapter 4, verse, um, verse 25. My children, suffer patiently the wrath that has come upon you from the Most High. For thine enemy had persecuted thee, but shortly thou shalt see his destruction and tread upon his neck. So our people bear, bear the indignation from the Most High. Bear the thing that is right now taking place because it was our sin towards the Heavenly Father in breaking the commandments. You know, in going up against the Heavenly Father's ways and doing the thing that, is, that was displeasing the Most High. But now don't get confirmed and don't get fooled by the foolishness of the devil that is trying to entice you in thinking that you got to put trust in weaponry you know you got to you got to walk in his ways the book of micah chapter 7 verse 9 i will bear the indignation of the lord because i have sinned against him until he plead my cause and execute judgment for me he will bring me forth to the light and i shall behold his righteousness everything goes in steps everything goes in steps as as we fell from our from our divine estate to the estate that we are today with these with these dog nations ruling over us and being over us guiding and and and, and polluting our people into the ways how they are today you will return back onto the way how the heavenly father wants you to be and when the time is there when you have when you have fulfilled what the heavenly father wanted you to go through we're going to receive the time of executing judgment punishment upon the man and that's going to be one of the most the most beautiful things, man, to see the downfall of your of your enemy, to tread upon the neck of those that are responsible for how our people have been destroyed in the past, even unto this very same day. That's going to be the most beautiful thing, man. We're gonna experience tears of joys when we go when we're gonna tread and destroy all the enemies, man. Verse 29 For he that had brought these plagues upon you shall bring you everlasting joy with salvation. So it was the most high for the ones who still ask questions like, where was God doing war? Where was God doing, this, uh, doing slavery? Many people don't understand that the most did exactly according to what he would do if he would disobey him. But the Lord, the Lord explains everything in the Bible, man. 
But those who don't read, those who don't understand, they're going to ask the most stupidest questions, man. Where was God then? Why isn't God helping? Why you got war? People don't understand. They don't read because the Holy Spirit is simply not dealing with them. But as long as the Spirit is not dealing with you, you're not going to understand. And those who don't understand, they are not in the Lord. And those that are not in the Lord, they're all going to be destroyed, man. You see, so many people are put and set to be destroyed, man. Many of them. It says in verse 31, Miserable are all they that afflicted thee, and rejoice it at thy fall. And many people are rejoicing at the estate that our people are in, man. Many people set stumbling blocks for you while you walk upon the path of Yahweh Bashim Yishai. And they rejoice, they laugh, they gniffle behind closed doors, but they don't understand how the Lord is going to judge them for everything that they do unto the servants of the Most High. Miserable are all the cities which thy children served. Miserable is she that received thy sons, for as, as she rejoiced at thy ruin and was glad at thy fall, so shall she be grieved for her own desolation. For I will take away the rejoicing of a great multitude, and the pride shall be turned into mourning. All the pride and arrogancy of these of these roaches is going to be turned in grievous mourning, man. People are going to find out what the Lord is about, man. They're going to find out, man. Let me end up with this, man. The book of Sirach, chapter 36. Have mercy upon us, O Yahweh, our power of all. And behold us, so we pray unto the Most High to be merciful unto us. Be merciful unto the small remnant. We, we who try, we who repent, we who seek the Heavenly Father daily, we who continually occupied in, in, in filtering the script, listening to the established leaders, the elder apostles, we are continually occupied in examining ourselves, you know, bringing in new fruits, being occupied in reading, being occupied in studying, you know, teaching our people the right ways of the Most High, man. And send thy fear upon all the nations that seek not after thee. And we pray that the Heavenly Father will bring torment on all the enemies, on all these nations that don't seek the Heavenly Father, that blaspheme, that magnify themselves, that they come in with their idols against the Heavenly Father. Lift up thy hand against a strange nation, and let them see thy power, which the Most High did in the time of Egypt, destroying, destroying the Pharaoh, unleashing all those plagues upon Pharaoh, you know, leading the Israelites out of Egypt. All these people are going to find out who our power is, man. They don't understand who our power is. People need to see with their eyes before they will believe. But when they will see, they're going, they're going to scream. They're going to howl. People are going to bow down. They're going to die of fear. They're going to beg for mercy. But there will be no mercy for those roaches, man. Because they had no mercy upon us, man. Everything which they did towards us was all joy, was all laugh, was all fun. Everything was all fun until death comes knocking on their door, man. Until their loved one starts dying, their baby starts dying, you know, their wife getting raped in front of them. You know, when, when people are going to experience those things, man, that is when that is when the humbling will take place, man. The book of James chapter 2, verse 13. For he shall have judgment without mercy, that had shewed no mercy, and mercy rejoiceth against judgment. These people have no mercy, man. An Edomite has no empathy, man. An Edomite does not know about compassion. An Edomite is, is a selfish, arrogant prick. They don't know about what they cause unto others. They, the only thing that they care about is themselves. There you have the rest of these foul, low-life nations that is walking in the same energy of these Edomites, man. You got these Ishmaelites, you got these Moabites, and the rest, the rest of them, Elamites. They, they're all the same. They, they have one thing in common they're all heathens they don't know about righteousness they don't know about the ways of the most high but yet they magnify themselves against the children of israel so they have to find out what it means to magnify yourself against a child of the lord they need to find out the same way like how pharaoh find out what happens if you if you touch the apple let's get that man the apple of the most high's eye man they don't know who we are they don't know who we are but they're going to find out who we are man they will find out. It's in the book of Zechariah. Let's get that, man. The book of Zechariah, chapter 3. Zechariah 3, verse... Um, is it Zechariah 3? Zechariah 2. Bear with me. Yeah. Zechariah 2 verse 8 For thus saith the Lord of hosts 
after the glory had he sent me unto the nations which spoiled you as we are sent today we are sent unto the nations to tell them for all the spoiling that they have done unto us for he that touched you touched the apple of his eye he that afflicted us is afflicting the apple of the heavenly father's eye so what do you think that the most High is going to do with you for that man Understand that we are the bride, we are the, we, are the, we are the delicate woman that pertains unto the Heavenly Father. We are that church. For everything that you do unto us, you do unto the Heavenly Father, man. So people are going to witness the power, the torment, the terrible powers of the Heavenly Father, man. And understand the Lord, the Lord, the Lord can get down terrible, man. When you look at what the Lord already did unto us for disobeying Him, giving us into the hand of of the most hateful forsakers of the law what these what these edomites have done unto our people man <laughs> used as crocodile bait raping our women bug breaking men which is raping of men you know cutting open of of of, of pregnant women their belly ripping off the baby eating off babies the most gruesome things have they done unto our people but they did it unto the chosen seed of the most high trying to imagine how the judgment is going to be from the most high for all those atrocities unto us man you just sit and you think like man those that are reputed as nothing how does the most high going to judge these people man how gruesome is the judgment going to be man it says in the book of uh, psalm 66 verse 3 say unto the most high how terrible art thou in thy works to the greatness of thy power shall thine enemies submit themselves unto thee all the earth shall worship thee and shall sing unto thee they shall sing to thy name selah come and see the works of the most high he is terrible in his doings towards the children of men people are going to see it pretty soon man many people you might ask them do you know about the plagues which were brought upon egypt yeah the locusts the blood the water turning into the blood people people can they can recite they can repeat those things but they cannot they cannot picture themselves being in a situation of undergoing all that torment the heavenly father sending the deaf angels slaying the firstborn the lord man these people don't understand who Allah shadja is the terrible demon-like power that is going to be unleashed upon them man they don't know it says in the book of sirach chapter 36 verse 4 as thou was sanctified in us before them so be thou magnified among them before us yeah because the lord the lord is being clean the lord cleansed us to the word everything which we do everything that we perform on the streets by the will of the heavenly father every time when we we, we declare this word we are magnifying the most high we are we are extolling the heavenly father to our sacrifice and to our profession man and let them know thee as we have known thee that there is no power but only thou o yahweh because we know how the most High gets down the lord the lord is a man of his words the lord is not a man that he should lie if he says that he's going to destroy these nations he is going to destroy them and the way how the heavenly father describes it man graphic you know gruesome ways gruesome judgment is coming and it's going to be in huge numbers the scripture says those that are those let me get that man Let's get that, man, because I don't want to butcher it, man. The word of the Most High is powerful and, and it needs to be brought out in the way how the Lord, the Lord wanted it to be brought out, man. It says it here in the book of 2nd Ezra, chapter 9, verse, uh, verse 15, I have said before and now to speak, I will speak it also hereafter, that there be many more of them which perish than of them which shall be saved, like as a wave is greater than a drop. That's the comparison that the Lord makes about how people are going to die. A wave amount of people is going to die. And only a drop compared onto the, in comparison onto that wave is going to be saved. Let the multitude, 22, let the multitude perish them which was born in vain. The multitude of these people that are moving, doing things, laughing, and whatever it is that they chase are born in vain. You have no value in the eyes of the Most High. You do your shit, you laugh, you make your you 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 make your comments, you're trying to cause people to stumble, you mock, you do all your things until the judgment comes for you. There's no mercy unto them. They're born in vain. It says, and let my grave be kept and my plant, 
with great labor have I made it perfect because the Most High is only shaping them who are truly conforming themselves onto the discipline of the Most High. That is a whole path. It is a journey of growing and being perfected by the Most High. That is the world we are walking upon. A road which these people don't understand. They don't understand the, our path and our growth and what we are fighting against, man. The book of Sirach chapter 36, verse 6. Shew new signs and make all the strange wonders. Glorify thy hand and thy right arm, that they may set forth thy wondrous works. So the Lord is going to do all type of wonderful, marvelous and terrible things again upon this earth, man. The Lord, the Lord is going to show these creatures, those chariots in the sky, which these people call UFOs. And, they, and they're not going to be as, as, as how I many a time showed people on this globe like yo those are the chariots man you know when your mind is not in the right way those those are not not for your for your help you know those are not for your help those those are going to attack you they will they will go into the house of the thief they will go into them that are swearing falsely they are threat unto you they're going to torment you you're going to get beamed you're going to get destroyed man the angels will take action against the people upon the globe man it says, rise, in the, rise up indignation and pour out wrath. Take away the adversary and destroy the enemy. Yeah, man. In many ways, man. You're going to have natural offense. You're already dealing with extreme drought upon this earth, man. Extreme drought. Extreme famine. Newly created diseases are going to be let loose upon the people. More clowns are going to be fooled and tricked into taking the jab. You know? All these creatures are all these creatures are set to die. There, there, there's so many ways for them to die, man. So many ways, but they're all set to fail because they have no part in the Most High because they're the enemy of the Most High, and they prove it in their words and in their actions continually, man. It says, "Let him that escape it." Oh, let me see in first, uh, first eight. Take the time short. Remember the covenant and let them declare thy wonderful works. And that's what we do. We declare the works of the Heavenly Father, man. We declare the bitter and the sweet, man. Let him that escape it be consumed by the rage of the fire, the nuclear fire. And let them perish that oppress the people. Let them all perish that oppress our people, man. The wicked oppressor, these Edomites, and the rest of these heathens that are joined unto them. Two-thirds of our people that are bowing down and, and, and conforming themselves unto the ways of the heathens. Smite in sunder the heads of the rulers of the heathens that say, There is none other but we and that's what they think they think that they are the ones ruling upon this earth there's no fear towards the lord there will be no judgment for all those crimes and atrocities but we are here to tell them different they're going to pay their seed is going to pay they will go into slavery and they will serve a thousand years and after a thousand years the nation of edom will be exterminated of the earth man that is how this movie is going to work all praises to yahweh bashmi shai shalom